Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out the optional bug fix updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 for August 2023. And the optional updates that roll out now in the fourth week of every month are just that. They are optional, so you do not have to install the update. And if you don't decide to install the update now, um, the improvements and fixes will be carried over into next month the Patch Tuesday update, which will be made available on the second Tuesday of September 2023. Now, if you do decide to install the update um, after your device has been restarted, it will be shown under View Update History KB5029331, which is this month's optional bug fix update for Windows 10. And this is exactly the same update I posted on a week or two ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way into the stable channel. Now, there's quite a lot going on with KB5029331 for this month. And we actually get three new features with this uh, Windows 10 optional bug fix update. Now, the first is that the update improves how Windows detects your location. So basically, according to Microsoft, this is going to help uh, to give you better weather, news, and traffic information. And then heading to the Start menu, uh, the update expands the rollout of notification badging for Microsoft accounts on the start menu. And this is a very similar feature to what Microsoft was pushing out and has pushed out to Windows 11 and is now making its way into Windows 10. So um, according to Microsoft, um, this notification badging now for Microsoft accounts on the start menu um, gives you quick access to important account-related notifications. And then the key highlight for this update uh, is that the update adds the Windows backup app to your device. And I have posted on this previously, and now this is starting to roll out to Windows 10, um, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Windows backup, and just take note though that this is a one-way street with this app. It cannot be uninstalled, and uh, there's no uninstall option. And that's obviously because Microsoft is uh, pushing this out to Windows 10, um, obviously thinking ahead to the end of um, support for Windows 10 that will be happening in October of 2025. So obviously Microsoft now reading Windows 10 devices to move over to Windows 11 if you meet the system requirements by giving you an option to be able to back up your PC and then restore that at a later stage. Now basically um, this is linked to OneDrive. So it's backing up your info into the cloud so you can have peace of mind according to Microsoft knowing it's protected if something happens to your PC. Now, as I've mentioned previously, um, it will back up your folders. So you'll have options uh, for all the different folders on your device. You can turn any of those different um, uh, system folders off. Uh, you can back up your apps. Remember installed apps and pinned app preferences. So that's another setting. One I'm very happy to see is settings. Remember Windows settings and preferences. And I think this is uh, the actual option I'm going to use for this backup app uh, settings because everything else of mine is already in the cloud. So you can um, remember your Windows settings and preferences like accessibility, language, other Windows settings, personalization. And then the final one are your credentials. So basically this is to do with your Wi-Fi networks and passwords and other passwords, which I actually think was, is another option that I'll use. So the backup app is now rolling out um, to Windows 10 version 22H2. And as mentioned, this is Microsoft now reading the end of support for Windows 10 by giving you the option now to back up and restore um, important components of Windows 10 when that end of support does roll out. Now, moving on, I'm just mentioning some of the other key highlights. Uh, the update supports daylight saving time um, changes in Israel. The update also addresses an issue um, that affects the display of the search box. So that's been addressed. And... The update addresses an issue that affects settings. So if we just head back to our settings, this is quite an important fix. And if we head to our accounts and sync your settings, apparently um, the update addresses an issue that affects settings. They do not sync even if you turn on the toggle on the Windows backup page in the settings app. So that's quite an important issue that has been resolved. Now just to go through a couple of the other um non-security updates because this is a non-security bug fix update that does bring other quality improvements and if you want to stick around and um, just to mention these quickly the update addresses an issue that affects the group policy service apparently it will not wait for 30 seconds which is the default wait time 
for the network to be available because of this policies are not correctly processed. So that will mainly be affecting your system admins. And there's also an update that addresses an issue that affects a window. Apparently the window might render when the wrong dimensions are at the wrong position and this occurs when you scale the display screen. And it also addresses an issue that affects print jobs. They are sent to a virtual print queue and apparently they, were f they would fail without an error. And there's always a print fix that does roll out with these bug fix updates from month to month. And then apparently there was a disk partition issue. Um, the system might stop working. Um, apparently it, the issue was affecting disk partitions. And this occurs after you delete a disk partition and add the space from the deleted partition to an existing bit locker partition. So that's another important fix. Um, affecting uh, disk partitions and the other an important fix and the last one for the purpose of today's video this was a known issue and has now been addressed for windows 10 and i did post on this and you can just do a search for click once because the update addresses a known issue that affects click once so if you want more info just do a search accordingly for that video i did post previously apps that you used click once to deploy might begin to prompt for installation this occurs even when the ClickOnce apps are already installed and marked as trusted. So that's an important known issue that has now been addressed. And obviously, um, that's just highlighting some of the um, key highlights for the purpose of this video. And um, if we head over to Winver, about Windows, this will give us our latest build. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is now bumped up to 19045.0393. So that's more or less what's new. Rolling out with KB5029331 for Windows 10, which is the optional bug fix update for August 2023. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.